I was playing a lot of poker at school. It was a way to basically afford cigarettes. And it got a little bit worrying for my family. And my brother said, you know what? For your 16th birthday, I'm going to stick $20 into a poker account under my name. And when you lose it, I want you to promise me that you won't play online poker again. So I played. And I lost most of it. Apart from about $4. And I started just slowly building it up. And that's basically been it ever since. Now I set structured hours, make sure I put in at least 40 to 45 hours of work on poker or poker related businesses every week. I'm definitely not the best. Um, anyone who thinks they're the best is lying to themselves. I'd say all round I'm probably in the top 50, probably maybe in the top 20. Um, in terms of being the best poker player, maybe not, but in terms of the of how profitable I am because I have all the other aspects such as table selection such as utilizing software correctly uh, I would say I'm definitely in the top 30 maybe even in the top 10 at my particular niche. Six Max Coaching came about because my best friend at university who I learnt poker with uh, his best friend moved to London after he went to university and we became good friends and all three of us are online poker professionals. In fact, a large reason why we're all so good at what we do is because we had friends who we could bounce ideas off and learn together. When things were going bad, if any of us were playing strangely, someone else would be there to call you out and go, what are you doing? And I think that's actually probably a large reason why we wanted to run a coaching and staking site, because I don't know how you can get really good if you're just playing on your own because you can't be objective about how you play and about your game. Every bit of software we buy, every bit of hardware we buy, the way that we do everything, even the way we play, is not necessarily designed to make the most in the one game we play, but to make the most for the hour. That's the whole idea. Last year it would be, just from playing poker, I would have made about $90,000, all things considered. You can't actually guarantee how much it will be. I actually ran $12,000 above what I expected. And then I got lucky and I should have made 78,000, but instead I made 90. And just as easily, it can swing the other way. And I would say it's very much like stock trading in many ways. If you know what you're doing, then in each individual game or trade, you may lose money and it is gambling. But if you play it again and again, when you expect a certain edge, that edge will come through over time and it's not gambling, that's why you can consistently make the kind of money that you do year on year. I would like to think that I won't be playing poker for too much longer. Uh, more and more people are becoming professionals, becoming harder and harder, having to expand and diversify and really work hard to stay ahead of the game. Hopefully in four or five years I'll be out of the poker game completely.